Rafael Nadal continues working on his game by practicing hard on the hard court. He works with discipline and great tenacity in the facilities of the Rafael Nadal Academy. Before traveling to Canada, he played with different partners that can give him a competitive rhythm. For his practice, he also selected one of his 18-year-old cousins, Joan Nadal, who competes on the ITF Junior Circuit and undoubtedly showed a great ability to play with Rafael Nadal. Other than playing, he's also been seen having some fun with his cousins by teasing them for emptying his closet. In this video, we'll talk about the healthy relationship of Rafael Nadal with his young cousin. Stay with me till the end of the video to find a lot more. Practice with Joan Nadal Rafael Nadal is preparing for the US Open series after withdrawing from the 2022 Wimbledon Championship due to an abdominal injury, one day before his semi-final match against Nick Kyrgios. The Spaniard has not lost a single match at this year's Grand Slams, having won both the Australian Open and Roland Garros. The sister of Rafael Nadal, Maribel Nadal, took to social media to share a video in which 36 years old can be seen practicing and working hard on an indoor hardcore at the Rafael Nadal Academy in Spain. In the video, we can see Rafael Nadal practicing with his uncle and former coach Tony Nadal's son, Joan Nadal. Rafael Nadal and Joan Nadal can be seen hitting powerful forehands at each other. In the practice session, the 22-time Grand Slam champion eventually scored the point. Reaction from fans Rafael Nadal's fans have enjoyed the clip of his practice session a lot. One of the users wrote on Twitter, Guy is even making small grunts because he wants to destroy his cousin and make him never play tennis again, LMAO. Some people appreciate his cousin for volunteering to play a match against such a legend at this young age. With the knowledge that he hits harder in practice than in games, his cousin is braver than the Marines for volunteering, a fan tweeted. Not just this, there are some people who've seen another Nadal coming into the world of tennis in future. Meet another Nadal, this time young Joanne, Uncle Tony's son, who looks as good as Raphael at the academy, said one fan. Rafa's footwork is just so, so good in this practice point alone. The way he's able to make those quick steps to get around to hit forehands is great, another tweet read. We can see that Rafael Nadal's cousin is just 18 years and he's already playing and competing with Rafael Nadal at his age. So, does he play tennis? Like, is he taking tennis as an option for his career or not? Well, we'll talk about this later. First, make sure you've subscribed to the channel because this way you will keep yourself up to date with the happenings of the tennis world and you'll not miss any updates. Joanne Nadal Back to the topic, Joanne Nadal is not just practicing with Rafael Nadal. Joanne Nadal Vivez, 20-time Grand Slam champion Rafael Nadal's 18-year-old cousin, made his ITF world debut in 2021. Joanne Nadal Vivez is one of Tony Nadal's sons and Rafael Nadal's uncle and former coach. Uncle Tony's children are very talented. You must have heard it already. Joanne Nadal is the proof of this statement. Tony worked with the 13-time French Open champion from his childhood until early 2017. Nadal Vivez was defeated in the first qualifying round of the M15 tournament on Manacor back in 2021 on the Rafael Nadal Academy facility by 14-seeded Kuzi Shekirj, 1-6-3-6. Shekirj was ranked 1,312 in the ATP World Rankings later. In 2021, it was the second official tournament appearance of Rafael Nadal's cousin, Joan Nadal Vivez. In 2020, he took part in the ITF Youth Tournament, which also happened in Manacor. In this case too, qualifying round one ended in a 1-6-3-6 ties against Alejandro Sanchez Gonzalez. This year, the Spaniard competed in several junior circuit tournaments with his best performance coming at the J5 event in Montemar in March. He advanced to the competition's quarterfinals after defeating Pranav Karthik and Trancredi Alfano, but was defeated by Pavel Petrov. Joan hasn't played as much at the senior level, with his last tournament coming in May. He didn't make the main draws of most competitions, but he did receive a wild card for the M15 in Manacor. Here, the teenager was defeated by compatriot, Pedro Rodenes 6-4-4-6-7-5 Comparison with Rafael Nadal If we look at the junior history of Rafael Nadal, 
we will find out that he only played two official ITF tours in the juniors area, one of them at Wimbledon, where he qualified for the semi-finals in 2002. Then he entered Futures and Challenger tournaments. The Nadal's sporting prowess is nothing new. Before Rafael Nadal, Miguel Angel Nadal, uncle of Rafael, brother of father Sebastian and Tony Nadal, made a name for himself as a footballer at FC Barcelona and as a 62-time national player for Spain. Tony Nadal, who trained Rafael Nadal from an early age and accompanied him on tour, left the now 20-time major champions coaching team at the end of 2017 to devote himself to youth work at the Rafael Nadal Academy. Tony Nadal had a great impact on the career of Rafael Nadal. Rafael Nadal is undoubtedly born with the superpower of playing tennis extremely well. But who was the one who saw it? Who told Rafael Nadal to trust in him and play the shot? It was his uncle, Tony Nadal. Tony Nadal was perhaps the most influential figure in Rafael Nadal's career, and many eyes, including those of the world number two himself, would be on Joan Nadal Vivez's career. Tony coached Rafael Nadal to 16 Grand Slam titles, making him one of the most successful coaches in tennis history. The 13-time French Open champion has frequently spoken about his character and never-say-die attitude, where shaped early on by his uncle Tony's training. In fact, the 61-year-old has admitted that when he was younger, he was too demanding of Rafael Nadal. I think it was more difficult for Rafael to train with me than to play the European Championship, Tony Nadal had once said. That daily requirement is what I think has led him to develop his conditions to the maximum. Evidently, he's become number one thanks to his effort, thanks to his talent, but also thanks to working with great commitment every day. Tony Nadal has been the director of the Rafael Nadal Academy since leaving his coaching duties. He believes he has nothing else to teach his nephew and that mentoring younger students at the academy would be a better use of his time. No, I don't miss him. I was very fortunate to train a great player who is also my nephew, Tony had previously explained. I enjoyed it and am grateful for it. But I enjoy training children, as I'm doing now at the Manacore Academy, because I believe I can give them more than my nephew. Even though they are together professionally, the two are still close. It will be interesting to see if Tony's son follows in his father's footsteps and becomes a successful pro as well. Rafael Nadal reacts to his cousin's training outfit. Currently, world number six Rafael Nadal recently decided to have some fun with his cousins Tony Nadal Vivez and Joanne Nadal Vivez through an Instagram post. Tony and Joanne were spotted wearing pink shirts similar to the 20-time Grand Slam champions during training, prompting the Spaniard to joke that they had emptied his storage room. What about the clothes? I'm guessing my storage room is already empty. Nadal commented on a recent photo posted by the Rafael Nadal Academy. Joanne Nadal posts the picture with Nick Kyrgios. Joanne Nadal has recently posted a photo of himself with Nick Kyrgios on his Instagram story. Joanne shared an Instagram photo of himself and Kyrgios, which was shared on Twitter by noted journalist Jose Mogado. The journalist wrote on Twitter, Uncle Tony's son is a Kyrgios fan. So, this was all from the video. Hope you all enjoyed it so far. What are your thoughts about the cousin of Rafael Nadal? What are your expectations from him? Do you guys think that Joanne Nadal is the future Rafael Nadal of the tennis world? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. See you again with another video on another topic soon. Till then, bye bye.